I'm scared of getting bitten by the sheep still, so... Oh, really? Oh, wow. And okay, then, man, we're here for you if you need to talk about it. They're, they're like, native to the area? Uh, no, these are from WA, but this was a bred... Well, we bred this one in Adelaide Hills. We bred a few things. Yeah, So, so okay. we're from next door here. Oh, but these quokkas are from the island, aren't they? A couple of islands and on the mainland in WA. Yeah, oh, right yeah. Ness, isn't it? Yeah, yeah right Ness is the one that you're allowed to visit. Um, yeah, right. okay. That's people know them so soft. Yeah, yeah. They're very soft. Yeah, wow. Yeah, well, you want to see her do a trick while well, she's ready? I'll show yeah. you a trick. Okay, what's this? Okay, Queenie. Stay. Okay, it's hey, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> they're not bad, yeah. are they? So they're pretty docile. Oh, look, they females can be. Okay. They really can be. And yet people have Hello. cats. Like, why can't we have stuff like that? Yeah, yeah hey. you can have some things like that. You can't always get quokkas because they're a specialist animal and they're controlled pretty heavily. But um, you can get things like paddy melons and other small wallabies and bedhogs oh, yeah. and quadaroos. They're all on a yeah, basic yeah. banner. I don't have a paddy melon. I don't have a paddy melon. Some of the Yeah, man. So, yeah, there's a lot of things you can have. Yeah, yeah, cool. Thanks, mate. Thank no you. worries. Have a good one. You too. Oh man, how's it going? We got the pound of quokka. Oh, oh, I didn't even need oh, to go to WA. No way. This lady's got a crocodile. Oh wow. Oh man, he's a monster. Hey. Wow. Oh man, how cool is this? Wow. This is only like the second store we've come across. <laughs> Oh, check me out. I got a quokka. <laughs> he said I can take it home. <laughs> oh, and he's going to show us. He's got a uh, squirrel glider here. Oh, yeah. Lovely. Like what we saw in your pool. Mm. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, wow, wow. He'll get the other one. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> the quokka's right at home. Skitty, I don't think I was old and good enough. <laughs> wow. Hey, oh. hey baby. <laughs> what a cutie. <laughs> He's playing with my beard. <laughs> oh wow. Oh, we're just gonna stay here at this store all day. I think so. It's yeah. only the second one we've been to. And man, it's awesome. See the lady with the It's gonna be hard to be. Oh yeah. <laughs> Super cute. All around Australia now, and we haven't seen a frill neck in the wild. Oh, yet. yeah. Um, hey, 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 what are you doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> oh. Love the sugar glider. It's so cute. See the croc's eyes as well, eh? Like he's got his eyes closed now. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh no, he's, he's not a happy jumper today. <laughs> no, baby. How bloody cute is the sugar glider though? Yeah. His tiny little face. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, hey. What about you? Would you fly? Won't perform. <laughs> Always cute though. Oh, here we go. This feels promising. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh 
somewhere and that's been so cool. They're called Animals Anonymous and they do like wildlife encounters. You can go to their property birthday parties even. and uh, pat wombats and like all types of stuff. They have so, so much cool stuff. Um, yeah, if we ever get some family come up visit us, oh, yeah. going in, yep. it's going to yeah. be sick. Pretty good, eh? Oh man, how cool is some of this stuff, eh? The goat, these rabbits, these elephants, man. Oh, how sick are the elephants, man? They're all Coca Cola signs and things. And this snake, look at this. He stands pretty tall too, eh? Right? And I like the pigs. Oh, okay, yeah, man. Everything here is pretty cool, eh? Yeah, heaps of cool, like, local art stuff and things like that, eh? And it's all, like, heaps better than the crap they try and sell at Caloundra that they bought oh, yeah. off a of Wish. At least, like, a people of made this. reminded us of Home at today. Um, <laughs> not the markets, the markets are way better. Oh, wow, look at this. This lady upcycles all these uh, wool blankets in the wool jumpers. Oh, man, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Woo, check it out! All the rides and the sideshow stuff. The sideshow alley bit. <laughs> yeah. Go and have a quick look, but we probably won't go on any. Oh, not for 15 bucks a person, especially. Yeah. Step right up. Get to your chicken scratching point here. Yeah, no. Oh, behind us here, this is the Golden North store. So Golden North's like ice cream manufacturers. I think they're like pretty big in South Australia. But uh, they're and based they're factory, here. Factory in Laura, yeah, they? yeah, yeah, they're based here in Laura and they've been here for like 150 years or something as well. Later on they have an ice cream eating competition. We don't know where, but if I can get in on that, we'll be eating ice cream. Man, everybody bought their cool dog too, eh? It's mad. That card goes off, eh? Yeah. I say, speak to you, speak of my language. He just smiled and gave me a big bright sandwich. He said, Do you want to walk the land down under? Ah, uh, I hope I do. Where the wind most expensive lunch we've had in a while. Oh yeah, yeah, kind of expected that either. Yeah, that's what is it? Hey, uh, Ella. Vegetarian pita bread. Pita bread. Mm. Yum yum. It looks good, but it'd want to for nineteen dollars a pop each. Oh, and then we have lunch and ice cream fest. Oh, ice cream eating competitions on here. So I don't know if we can go in it. I think today's all like organised for people. And then tomorrow is like random people, but I don't know if we'll be here tomorrow, but we'll see. Oh man, I love this guy. He's been gone for like 45 minutes or more now too. Just smashing him out. So it appears there is no ice cream, uh, ice cream eating contest today. They're gonna all be tomorrow. So uh, yeah, no fun. Uh, I think we're gonna go home now and fix the wombat because I've got everything I need to fix it now. So yeah, it's gonna be mad. We'll see you there. All right, so we're on our way back to Yakka now, and uh, you do this mad little bit of a range drive back over the the end of the the South Flinders Ranges here to get back into the the Gulf side of the valley and uh, the cops have got the road blocked off here so uh we pulled over so we can film and uh 
I'm guessing there's gonna be like some monster truck come through with a whole bunch of big stuff on it. Uh, could be really cool. So yeah, let's see. Oh yeah, here he comes. I don't know what it is, it's huge. Oh, you ain't going slow either, eh? Oh yeah, that was a beast. Oh, what is it? It's, oh, it's a massive mine truck without its wheels and without the dumper yeah, on the back. Truck. Yeah, it's a monster, eh? Oh yeah, yeah. So it's one of them massive mine trucks, eh? Hey? See, it doesn't have the wheels, and he doesn't have his uh, tub on the back. Two of them. Oh man, I want to drive one of them sprinters, eh? Hey? <laughs> Chasing the big trucks would be mad fun. All right, back in the sand crab, let's go. All right, guys, so welcome back to Yucca. This is where we've been staying while we fixed the wombat. And uh, this is what's wrong with the wombat. This thing here, just started pouring diesel out the bottom of it pretty much, out one of them seals on that thing. And uh, yeah, it was no fun. So uh, yeah, $1,400 later, we got a new one. And yeah, this is where we're at. So I replaced all these lines too, cause at first I thought all these lines were leaking down here, but it wasn't. See how they run under there? That's where the pump goes. So you can't see them when it's all together. And uh, I thought that was the problem, but it wasn't. Then we've just been waiting to get these two new clips because that's what keeps these tubes off of the fan belt, which you really, really need. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get the new pump and slide him back into that hole. Then uh, replace these two bolts, put the vacuum pump back on here, then do all the hoses up and she'll start. And everyone on the internet reckons you need to take the whole front end off your car to do this. But uh, if you've got little skinny hands or big skinny hands, like me, you can do it with the fan and everything's still on there. So, um, yeah, listen to what other people tell you. Just make your own way. It's a bit of a process to how it's all gonna come apart and how it all has to go back together. But once you work that much out, it all just goes together. Oh, look, what's going on here? <laughs> all right, so the new pump's in. The lines are connected, these lines are connected here. And uh, yeah, like it, it took me a while to work out how to get it out because there's a bolt right down underneath the middle of that. Like if you look at this one, you're looking at that bolt there and then two lines run right up underneath there. And uh, then you've got the fan belt about here. So you've got to put that bolt in as you put the pump in and you need the exact right length extension Otherwise, yeah, socket driver doesn't clear the fan. There's not much room in there, but you can do it like that with the fan and everything on there. And it only took me about 10 minutes to get it all back in there now. So uh, all that's left now is to put the vacuum pump back in. That's two bolts. Uh, this has to go back onto that as well. So don't forget that. Um, then we'll join up the water hoses the inner cooler hose back into there and oh, then I'll have to double check everything but I think she'll be ready to crank so uh, we'll see you when we're ready to crank oh yeah and don't forget to use Loctite you need the Loctite and you'll see here this is how I had to make my fancy extension it's uh, two adapters joined together so that's like a quarter uh, part, uh, what quarter inch to eight inch I think and uh, then a eight inch to quarter inch. And that got me the perfect spacing to be able to still fit my socket wrench in there. So yeah, that's how I did it. All right, so that's all done. And uh, as you can see now, like there ain't much room in there to do anything. That's the thing we had to pull out. All these lines that go down underneath it, you can't even see anymore. And uh, yeah, then these two things and like, that's about it. It's really only like a half hour job if you really, really, really know what you're doing. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So guess what? I did it and it's not leaking at all. There ain't a drip coming out of nowhere in there. And uh, yeah, it's so easy. The pump doesn't have to be timed like a normal diesel pump on your Land Cruiser or nothing. And um, 
yeah it just all went together so simple there ain't a leak in there so I uh, yeah it's mad anybody could do that you just got to get in and have a go it's not much fun at times but like I said once you've done it once you could do it again in half an hour Beautiful. Can you push that mirror out a bit? Oh. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Push on? Oh, are we unplugged? Yeah. There's a tree there though. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna have to move a little bit more stuff. And we're going. Mm. <laughs> Are we off? Yeah. Get it down the dump point and uh, make sure everything's good and empty our toilet, which is uh, really convenient because there's one just down the street here. So we'll go around the block a bit so I can give her a few revs. Oh yeah, Wombat! Woo! She's alive! <laughs> alive, I'm telling you! She goes. Oh. Well, she's mint then. All That's right. all I was worried about. In idle, it only revs to three as long as it goes to four in gear. Laughing. It's country oh, old. Yeah. <laughs> Go Wombat. Now uh, down the main street of Yucca. Go. Should we laugh? Go. Ooh. Oh, oh man, she goes again. If we get up here and there's no diesel coming out, that's it, she's done. She'll make it back to Queensland. So, uh, yeah, we'll see you at the dump point. <laughs> Alright, been there, done that. And, 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 there ain't no drips. Ain't no drips, ain't no bucket now. Ain't no nothing. I reckon, uh, that's it. She's mint. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Ah, oh, what a good wombat, eh? She's a tough old beast. And now I know how to look after her better. So it was all worth the effort and the week of sitting around. Uh, massive thanks to Paul and Sandra for letting us camp in their yard and all the help and for being so close to where we broke down. And like, it, yeah, it, it really couldn't have worked out uh, much better other than if we'd broken down in our driveway at home. So yeah, that's been awesome. Now I'm going to go back and fill up our water tanks and edit up an epic video about the law affair and uh, how the wombat's alive again. So uh, yeah, it's going to be mad. I'll see you there and probably see you tomorrow as well. And uh, oh man, I'm excited. Oh yeah, before I go, just a uh, massive shout out as well to the guys at Auto Pro at Port Pirie. Uh, they oh, yeah. sorted us out with all our parts. We've got all our tools. We've got everything there. Uh, they were awesome to deal with. They even like ordered us little clips and things. That, they were awesome. I wish I knew the bloke's name we were dealing with, but ring up and ask for him. Um, <laughs> yeah, we and, his yeah <laughs> thank you so much, Auto Pro at Port Pirie and Auto Pro in general, and Mercedes, and like everyone who's helped get us all the bits out to Yakka that we needed. It's been mad. So, uh, yeah, now we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>